This table is a very interesting one. It is a table which was done by Dr. Alexander Rottenberg, about whom we mentioned a lot because he became orthodox too when he saw from Professor Rips the phenomenon of the Bible code. And he checked it, found it clearly, it is the truth. And both of them really are scientists who came from Russia. So he did this program, which I'm using also a lot, as I mentioned to you. And he wrote a book, All His Truths. And in this book, he tried to show that what our rabbis bring in all Torah, Torah Shabbat Pevish is called, is basically shown in the written Torah, the same subject, it's unbelievable phenomena. So what you see here is the following. This is what the Tractate Sukkah 25a and b says. There were certain men who were impure by the corpse of a person and they could not observe the Pesach on the day. It is in Numbers 9, chapter 9, verse 6. Before proceeding with the discussion, the Baraita, the Talmud seeks to clarify with regard to those men who became impure. Who were they? The Baraita answers, they were the barriers of Joseph Coffin, which the Jewish people brought with them in the desert. This is a statement of Rabbi Yosea Grilly, but Rabbi Akiva says, no, they were Mishael and the Lesapam, who were engaged in carrying the bodies of Nadav and Naviu after they were burned in the Holy of Holies. So see Leviticus 10 4. So this is what you see is all in Tractex Sukha. So what Dr. Alexander Rottenberg found is unbelievable. So he found the name of those people who became impure, which are Mishael and Elisafan. All of them come in one chapter in Numbers, few verses, which is a story which we saw that were people who were impure, a man could not do the Pesach, and then God told them you can do the Pesach in the second month, not in Nisan, in the same day, or 14th of the month of Iyar, the second month, which is, the date is the 14th of Iyar, which appears here, and also Pesach Pet, the second Pesach, unbelievable. So the name of those people, Mishael and Elisafan, appears here, and they are minimal in the book of Numbers which itself makes it significant. So it's unbelievable that exactly on the same story of those people who were impure to a corpse are in the place when those people are mentioned and the date of the second Passover, Pesach is the 14th year, Pesach Shania, Pesach the second one. So interesting table which Dr. Alexander did in his book, All His Truths, and really all what he brings them are showing something like this, that what Rabbi says comes, appears in the written Torah. I mean, what is in the oral Torah appears in the written Torah in the same place, which is very, very significant and interesting phenomenon.